Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie and I make videos on slow living and minimalism. As some of you guys might already know, I have been decluttering and organizing my house for the past couple of months. And during the process, I've had to come face to face with some really bad purchases that I've made in the past. Not only were these items a reminder of the money that I had wasted, but it was a true reflection of my aspirational, impulsive spending habits. I know that it won't be the last time that I make a purchase that I'm going to regret, but I think it's important to take a moment to learn our lessons so that we can make better decisions moving forward. So today I wanted to share with you 10 purchases that I really regret and my thoughts on why I think it was a bad purchase. Hopefully this will give you some insights so that you won't make the same mistakes as well. Let's get started. Don't get me wrong, I love my plants. However, I wish that I hadn't bought high maintenance plants before I knew how to take care of them. I actually had no idea that plants needed to be repotted, they needed to be placed in an optimal lighting, and that different plants have different nutrient requirements. Last year, I bought this beautiful, lush plant that stood tall for a week before the leaves started to brown and it eventually died. It was really irresponsible for me to spend that much money on something without knowing the responsibilities that came with it. Now, I take care of my plant babies and make sure that they get the attention that they need. I've learned the hard way and the expensive way that plants in our homes should definitely reflect our lifestyles. I think gift giving is truly an art. There's nothing like finding the right gift for the person that you love and seeing their whole face light up when you present it to them. However, in the past, I have given way too many gifts that weren't personal or thoughtful but only because I felt the pressure to buy them something. My intentions were good in that I wanted to show the other person that I was grateful for them and that I value them. But I wish that I could have expressed it in other ways instead of feeling forced to buy something. I could have just thanked them, spent quality time with them, or written a sincere thank you note. These gestures would have meant so much more. Now, I don't put the pressure on myself to just buy a gift for the sake of buying a gift. The Kindle has amazing features. It can condense our whole library into one simple device. It has pretty good battery life and also makes things really convenient. The main purpose for buying my Kindle was for my travels and I thought it was going to change my whole reading experience. While the Kindle has its benefits, I personally never found myself reaching for it. If I had any downtime during my travels, I was sleeping, researching for my new destination, or prefer to listen to audiobooks. When I'm at home, I always reach for a paperback instead. I bought this Kindle for convenience, without giving it a careful thought on how many times I was actually going to use it, or if it's really for me. So I'll be giving this to someone who will actually take advantage of this amazing little device. When we first purchased this house, I was so excited to finally have friends and family over for tea and to host dinner parties. And somehow I thought it was a great idea to buy this beautiful white marble cheese board. I did prepare a beautiful platter on it, total of three times. Most of the times it sat on my kitchen shelf, just looking pretty, but it's really heavy and bulky. It takes up a lot of space and definitely wasn't worth the $60 that I spent. Now, as a rule of thumb, when I'm buying a new kitchen gadget or an item, I always ask myself, how many times am I going to really use this? And second, how much space is it going to take up in my kitchen? 
I was really diligent about taking my vitamins and supplements and spent a lot of money on them too. Of course, there are specified circumstances when dietary supplements are needed. But for me, I didn't have any of those requirements. I was already eating a healthy, balanced diet and felt like I was spending money on these supplements that weren't doing anything for me. I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist. I'm just speaking from my personal experience. I do see a bigger difference in my health and overall energy by cooking more home-cooked meals and also eating whole foods and of course keeping an active lifestyle. And now I just concentrate on getting my vitamins and minerals through my daily food intake. I was in such a rush to make my home feel like a home, I bought things to fill my space, and cheap kitchen tools were one of them. I've had utensils fall apart on me while I was cooking, and nonstick coatings flake off into tiny little pieces into my food. It was really inconvenient, and eventually, I had to spend more money buying the same things multiple times. I wish I waited to buy something a bit higher quality and more durable. For example, a well-made stainless steel could last a lifetime and it would have been worth it because I cook almost every meal at home. Ironically, this would have saved me a lot more money in the long run. I imagine my kitchen to have these matching clear canisters and containers where I can see the contents of my pantry. While this looks really neat and uniform on open shelves, it turned out to be quite a hassle for me to transfer all of the items from its original container to the clear containers themselves. It just wasn't necessary and actually took more of my time and energy away from me. I was always on the hunt to find my signature scent and spent a lot of money on designer brand perfumes. I know that for some people, it can really make them feel confident or feel dressed up or even lift their mood, but I found that for me, I could never even go through one bottle of perfume. I realized how unnecessary it was for me to spend so much money on these designer brand perfumes. I've replaced expensive perfumes with essential oils and coconut oils, which suits me much better. I'll use the coconut oil first at the tips of my hair and use the remaining on the rest of my body for just a hint of coconut scent. In Hawaii, we have microclimates where the climate will differ depending on where you live. But I live in the hottest and the most driest part of the island. In other words, there is absolutely no need to buy any winter clothes. I justified buying cute sweaters and jackets for traveling during winter months or for when we go up to the crater. But most of the year, these winter clothes just sat in my closet waiting to be worn. This is a perfect example of what if or maybe item that I purchased. Even after going through my closet and donating so much clothes, I still feel like I have too much. And I realize that this is gonna be an ongoing process. But in the future, if I need to buy an item, I know that I have to buy something that matches my lifestyle, my personal style, and also something that I can use on a regular basis. I can't remember the last time that I wore high heels and I think this is a sign of a bad purchase. I thought that I would buy them to go out for fancy dinners or for special occasions, but in reality, this rarely happens. I would say maybe a couple of times a year. Most days I am walking my dogs, I'm running errands and going to the beach. 
and in none of those scenarios, I would actually need to wear high heels. I've realized that I spent more money on my heels than the shoes I wear on a daily basis, which just shows how off my priorities were. Especially as I get older, I only gravitate towards comfortable shoes with sufficient support. I plan to just keep one comfortable pair of mid heels and sell the rest. These were my 10 purchases that I regret. And please let me know in the comments if you have any purchases that you have regretted from your past. I would love to know. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more similar videos. I really appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. And until next video, take care.